Right, nothing like introducing yourself in bold. Good afternoon, everyone. <laughs> I am Frances Fraser. I am the Portfolio Manager for Botswana, Namibia and Malawi at the USA Trade Hub. Um, so I support our teams on the ground to work with exporters to um, export into South Africa and into the United States. Um, our structure is that we've got country representatives and a program assistant in each of the countries that we work in. Uh, we work in nine countries in Southern Africa. And today we're featuring handicraft firms from Botswana and Namibia. Thank you so much to everyone who's here. I am going to keep my opening remarks extremely brief because this is not about us. It's all about linking uh, really talented and interesting handicraft businesses with all of you. And thank you so much for your time, for joining us. It gives me great pleasure to introduce Julie. Um, I think everyone here knows Julie a lot better than, than I do. Um, but the most outstanding aspect of Julie that I've observed in working with her is her passion and her absolute resilience in terms of working with companies to improve and grow uh, and to generate income through really having a sustainable and profitable business. Um, Julie, I just want to quickly run through our program. I think Gert already touched a bit on it. We're going to do some quick opening remarks. Most of the afternoon will be spent in breakaway rooms um, that have been set up by Gert. So um, each interaction will be about 10 minutes long. And in each room, there will be a supplier that's ready and waiting to engage with you on a one-to-one -one basis. Um, Gert, how do the buyers know where they should go when? Uh, I will basically now, after all the introductions, I would um, allocate you per time slot and then it would take you automatically there. So okay. you would automatically be taken into the room and then automatically be taken out of the room again to another one. Super. So there will be, you'll, you'll get a time warning sort of close to the end of your 10 minutes interaction and you'll be moved into another breakaway room. Um, please be aware that there are a few less buyers than suppliers, so don't feel funny if you're sitting alone in your uh, breakaway room and you don't have a buyer visiting you. Um, just wait for your 10 minutes and then in the next slot somebody should come around and, and visit you. With that, I am going to hand over to Julie now to give a bit more background on today. Thanks, Julie. Sorry, I was just trying to unmute everything. Um, thank you so much to everybody, to our wonderful buying team, to the hub team that have put this all together, and then also to these amazing enterprises. They have been working really hard. They've been going through, I think, almost two months of training um, on the digital platform, building capacity, and putting up with us, bugging them like every day for something. <laughs> um, so I'm really proud of, of the people that are here. I'm really grateful to all the partners because you guys, you're not even buyers, you're capacity building partners to us. And I've known you for a long time and I'm always grateful to have you on board. And it's wonderful. I mean, the talent and the, the passion and the quality of the handmaids is just incredible and they deserve to be on a, on a world stage. So thank you again for coming and thank you to all the enterprises. We really appreciate you and we're excited. This is the first one that we, we're doing. Um, so forgive us if there's been a few glitches. <laughs> we'll be ready to go in a few moments. So what we're going to do is, as all the buyers have joined us, um, Gert is gonna send all the enterprises to their rooms and then if you give us just a few minutes, then you'll find yourself being moved over and meeting someone for the first time. So have fun, enjoy it, um, let's see what happens. Um, yeah, but as Francis said, you may find yourself alone for a little while, but it won't last very long because there's, um, there's six buyers on the call and there are nine different companies. So we going to be alone for a little while but um yeah don't be intimidated by that and 
talk and have fun and engage and showcase your beautiful products and be passionate because all of us are passionate about what you do. Thanks everyone, enjoy. Uh, Julie, before we break off, uh, wait, didn't you want to introduce all the buyers? I think there is a slide for them individually. Oh yes, I would. And uh, apologies, Kim, you, you're on Julia's photo, so apologies to Julia and Kim. <laughs> um, <laughs> Let me introduce everybody. We're going to be meeting um, Kim Bourne and Susie Runyon from Bridge for Africa. And then we've got Annie Waterman from AOW Handmade. Stacey Edgar, who's an independent sourcing agent. And then Julia Wilson of Jasby, Jasby Trading. So these buyers, and we have Mimi Robinson as well joining us, which is fantastic. are really committed to making a difference in Africa. So this is Julia, who's been working since 1986 <laughs> with the handmade sector across um, Africa. She lived in Zimbabwe and then um, moved to Durban where she met her husband and that's where Jasper started. And one of her main clients is the TJX group, which is um, home goods in the USA. That's just one of them. <laughs> so that's Julia. Can we move the slide? This is Stacy Edgar. And um, Stacy is uh, the founder of Global Girlfriend, and she built that brand up. She started it and built it over 17 years, and it became one of the largest brands around, very dedicated to uh, female artisans around the world and creating sustainable markets. Um, and now Stacy is a professor at, the, at Colorado and an independent sourcing agent. Okay, next slide. And this is Annie, um, AOW, who believes in linking artisans to producers with markets to help sustain craft. Annie's really passionate about the craft arena. So she has got an extensive network of um, buyers and artisans around the world. Okay, next slide. Can we move the slide for me, please? Uh, okay. we're, uh, there yeah. we go. Yeah, and then we have Kim Bourne and Susie Runyon. Uh, they very kindly gave their time with Mimi last week um, in the buyer talk. So Bridge for Africa. It's again, it's promoting self-sufficiency and dignity work in rural African communities. It's been around since 2003, and it's a well-established and respected provider of fine contemporary craft into America. Um, and again, like I said earlier, all of our buyers, they are really passionate about handmade, authentic, artisanal products and they work really hard to get those um, products into the mainstream market. So I didn't, uh, I don't have a slide for Mimi, but I will definitely add one for next time. <laughs> but yeah, those are our buyers. So you, you can be able to put a name to a face shortly. Thanks everyone. Perfect, thank you, thank you, Julie. I guess I'm gonna open the rooms now. Most of you would go to your rooms Sorry, I think there might be a helicopter. <laughs> um, so most of you would go to your rooms and then because the schedule changed slightly now, so I'll just have to um, change it, adapt it for Mimi and for some of the um, vendors that aren't here. So some of you would go to rooms immediately, some of you might not. So just be patient for a few seconds and then that would um, proceed from there. Great, thank you.
I thought we were going to have some background music. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry. That's not me. <laughs> sorry, Francis. Can you please share? Um, can you please share the the slides? Yes, I'll be share them with you. No problem. Thank you. Um, do you, what kind of music would you like? Listen, I know your taste. It's explicit. I mean, exquisite. Go for it. <laughs> Okay, we'll see what we can do. There we go. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Who's yes. Kim? Morning, Kim. How are you? Good, thank you. So does this mean we can't go into the breakaway sessions? Does anybody know? Yes, I do. I think we should have, I think that's prioritizing having buyers and suppliers going to the different rooms. The rest okay. of us should be able to go to all of them uh, once we're given the rights to do that, but I think he'll set that up as a second priority. No and I think the way we do that, there should be a breakaway icon um, next to where we normally raise our hand. It's like a square icon, which until yeah. we have the rights, I don't think it'll appear. Oh, okay. Thank you, Francis. Uh, do you need me to project like as people are waiting like this? I think it would be nice. Thank you. So Gert is confirming we've still got Maisha here from Maswe. And then we've also got on the buyer side Mimi and Kim. Right. Thanks, yeah. Um Kim, did you weren't you taken to a room? You it shows that you're in the room with uh, elements by a Karina. I, yeah, I see that too. I'm actually just looking at Mimi right now. <laughs> yeah. Right. I'm Mimi, you're the only one I see in my room. <laughs> yeah. I'm, elements is Mimi, here. I'll send you to a room now, but. Um, I don't think Elements um, is here. Let me yeah. see if I assign Kim. I'll assign you to another room and then see if you go there. Okay, Mimi is assigned. I think the issue might be that elements are not here, Gert. Uh, yeah, but yeah, they were here earlier. Remember Tatenda? Uh, 
But let me, I'll, Kim, I'll assign you to another room for now and we can try that one again later. Okay, okay. I don't have to do anything, right? Mm -mm. No, okay. no. It's his join room, okay. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Is this Elements? Oh, okay. Thank you so much. I was still trying to connect again. That's okay. I'm, I'm okay. hanging. Can you see the... Hello? There you are. I now I see you. Yes. Hi. Oh, okay. Thank you so much. Hi, how are you? Okay, thank you. Can, sorry to interrupt, can we take the slides down so we can see you, Mama Swear, please? Sorry? Okay, no problem. Yeah, I think there's some confusion here now. Um, because Christina, Christina, did you leave your room? Because Christina, you have a room. You were supposed to be in that one, and Mama Swear was supposed to be here. I... Okay, you can take me out again. I thought they are entering my room. You were supposed to, in your room, I sent Mimi there to meet with you. Let me just... Um, Do it again. There's no problem. Thank you. Sign you again. Okay, <laughs> sorry for that, guys. So then my mom's way would be here with Kim. Okay, thank you. Let me just... Okay, sorry, Mimi, I just had to bring you back because I had to close that room um, and open it again for you and Christina to go back there. Okay. Virtual rooms are way more complicated than normal rooms. Okay, it's busy opening, then the two of you should automatically go back there. Aha, Mamaswe and Kim, the floor is yours. Where are you? <laughs> I can see your beautiful eyes. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Oh. Yes. Hello. Can you proper see me? We can proper see you. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> your eyes. Yes. So, am I starting here? Yes, go ahead. You are, this is Kim from Bridge for Africa, who's meeting you for the first time. So, 
show us around your beautiful shop and tell us about um, Hans Kraft. Okay. Um, thank you very much for giving me uh, this opportunity uh, yes, to yes. introduce myself to you and also for you guys to know us as Hans Crafts. My name is Mamaswe Kikwanyani. I'm working for Hansi Craft as a field coordinator and acting coordinator of Hansi Craft. Therefore, I will start with the introduction of Hansi Craft and then I'll go around uh, showing you guys uh, some products. And maybe to put ahead an apology of saying, I'm sorry, I'm using my, my, my mobile phone because my laptop is not working properly. <laughs> sorry for that. <laughs> Anyway, Hanscraft is a non-profit non organization which, have, which was formed in 1980s and it is owned by the Sun community. So uh, Hanscraft is, uh, have a board which is having uh, a settlement board members. So therefore we are having three working uh, workers, which is a coordinator, um, a, a shop manager and the, and the, and the the bookkeeper. But unfortunately, right now, because of the COVID-19, um, the office is on and off. But therefore, we are using uh, handcrafts, which are made out of the ostrich actual beads, which are made by the hand in time consuming and intricate process. Originally, the actions were gathered naturally from the, the, the native, native wild ostriches. However, today the actions are, are sourced, however, in the sustainability from the local ostrich farms. So we have got farms that we are actually taking these ostrich actions from them. For it's kind of, if we are looking at it, we, we will say it's a recycling. Therefore, uh, by making ostrich actions to become uh, some products, you break the ostrich eggshells into small pieces and then you take a drilling stick, you, st you, you drill them to make holes. After making the holes, you, pull, you put them in the string, you cut them using the nail clipper and then you smooth them using the sharpening stone and the, um, the, the rafter. Therefore, I've got some products here. You will see that uh, in my shop, uh, this is what uh, we, we have. Mimi, can you see that? Yes. Yes. Uh, automatically, after making all this uh, process of making a bead, we first make a bead. After making a bead, then it will become a product. So this is our bracelet. A bracelet. A bracelet, automatically, it comes on your hand, it's a bracelet. So yes. out of the ostrich eggshell, we have got three colors. We, 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 we have got the white color, we have got the black color and the brown color. For us to make the ostrich eggshells brown or black, we fry them with quicken oil. Uh, after frying them with quicken oil, for 10 minutes they become brown, they become black, I meant to say, and then for 10 minutes they become brown. So these are the two colors that we have out of the ostrich action. And then when we make the necklace, uh, we make the, we, we again make some earrings. So we have some earrings, as you can see, but different types of earrings. Uh, you can have the triangle earrings and all these uh, designs that are coming from the natural things. You might find that we have made um, an, a bracelet like this. This bracelet, the shape of this bracelet is coming from the backbone of the python. So uh, that's uh, the wild animals that we are actually taking some uh, designs out of. There we go. And then we automatically have um, our ostrich eggs. There is our egg. So this one is plain egg. So out of the plain egg, then we'll be making some necklaces, some bracelets, and whatever that you can think about. 
But again, we are again sell, sell it like this. In the old days, the same community were using this egg as a fridge. So they were they were they were they were saving water in this uh, ostrich egg. And then for you to save water in it or keep water in it, the water will become very, very cold, like it was kept in the fridge. And then in the modern, modern uh, days, like today, we are having some decorated ones. For us to decorate this, they just grill it. They grill it and using some animal pictures, animal pigs, animal pigs. This is a snake and this is a tree. Can you see it? My screen and, is frozen. Yeah, this is a picture of an, 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 a snake. So we will be decorating it and then just sell it decorated. Therefore, we'll be having an, some items like a headband. This is a headband. We use it, you put it on your head. Uh, so, sorry, my last way. Sorry to interrupt, but your screen is frozen. Maybe if you switch yes. off your video and back on. Should I? Kim Carrot. Sorry, sorry to bother you, oh but hey, gosh, we laser this leather products are stuck in this room. <laughs> Who, who's stuck in this room? Uh, Maisa Leather Products. We uh, seem me. to be a part of this room and we can't uh, type anything to anybody to try and get out. <laughs> um, let me just see, because you were supposed to be taken to your room. No, all we've been is in this one with the lady uh, with the ostrich um, <laughs> shells, Christina. Okay, Christina. I am... I'm going to close your room again and open it back up because you Thank are you. supposed to go there. Thank you. Sorry, Kim. Um, Mama, Mama Sue, can you, can you switch your video off and on from your phone because you're frozen? Thank you. Thank you. I missed all her um, earrings and her. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll have a rerun. Okay. Should I switch and it can she move a little bit slower? Yeah, no problem at all. I'll tell her. Super. Mama, swear, do you want to Hello. switch your video back on again? Why, why did you get lost? <laughs> it froze. Okay, that's better. And then, yes. yeah, Kim is asking if you could just talk a little slower for her, please. Oh, no, oh, no, no, no. That's good. Just move the, move the phone a little bit slower. Than she's yeah, the phone and the phone. Don't move the phone so fast yeah. because oh, we, we okay. actually can't see it. It blurs. Oh. So if yeah. you just move the phone really slowly, like you're walking in, in cement. <laughs> <laughs> Much better. Okay. Okay. So should I start with the, the earrings? Eh? Yes, please go back to the earrings. That would be helpful. Thank oh. you. Thanks. Um, I was trying to actually show that we have got we go. different types of earrings. There we go. We have um, uh, double earrings. We, get, we have got uh, roll earrings. And then we have got uh, cone earrings. So each and every uh, design, we are making it being inspired from the animals or the fruit from the wild. Can you see? Are we together? Lift it up a little bit higher. Like? Yeah. Is it fine? Lower. <laughs> Are you okay? Mm, lift it up slightly. There we go. A little bit more. A little, little. That's yeah, better. That That's looks good. good. Yeah, now we can see. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So beautiful. Yeah. These are the uh, different types of our earrings. We, have, we still have got more of them. We have got different types of them. Uh, others are made. Um, uh, like this is this one is made out of the nuts from the wild. This is the nut, a seed. This is a seed from the from the wild. 
And then combined with the ostrich action. So again, I was saying we have got some our traditional attire, which is the headband. And then just wait there, I'm coming. We have got the traditional attire. So we have got the dancing skirt. Oh, man. We have got the dancing skirt. This is made out of the um, animal skin. Can you see it? Uh -huh. So it is used to so it's a skirt. Put it this way, and then, and then this one is an apron. It comes this way. So these are the uh, the, the clothes uh, that our elder people were actually using uh, in the old days. And this is a bra. So again, we have got headbands. As we can see, that is the one that I'm putting on right now. And then we have got. Uh, some necklaces, different types of necklaces. We have got this one. This one is actually the one that was saying that some of our products are actually fired from the wild animals. This necklace, the shape of this necklace is actually representing the backbone of the python. So it is simply called snake bone necklace. And this one is a cone. We have got cones all around our area. So we are shape making some shapes out of the ostrich actions uh, accordingly. That, that is our necklace. It goes like this. There we go. Yes. And then in the... Again, we have got, because we are to do the new designs, we have got wire bracelet, which can be worked very simple. You just wear it this way. This is our bracelet. Are we together? <coughs> we yes. are together. Yes. <laughs> then we have Bow and arrows. This one we call it a love ball. This is our love ball. And then the love ball, the information behind the love ball is that the same, the same way you send the love ball to approach a woman. So far, but nowadays we are just using it for decoration. So this one, it has got some arrows inside. So if a, a, a sen man is interested to, in, to me, then he will be shooting the arrow next to me. If I pick up that arrow, I'm, I'm saying yes. So this is the love ball. That's, that's the image. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. It, it. So, and this one is a little bit of magic ball. Magic ball, we have got the, the magic ball, and then we have the love ball, and then we have got the ball and arrow, but the ball and arrow is bigger than this one. This is this one is a magic ball. So the magic ball was been used by the 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 small the, or the, 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 the small boys to hunt. If they are, they are teaching their kids to hunt, then they will be using this. But nowadays we just use them for decorations in the houses. There are some which are still being used by the elder people for hunting. That are the hunting set. So this one has got also three, ar three arrows and the digging stick and the fire stick inside. So the, those are the arrows that are inside and all the equipment. So these are the crafts that we have. So. Oh, but that is good to do. Necklace, good necklace. Mama Swear. I'm coming. Can you maybe can you maybe check if, if Kim has some questions for you? 
because maybe yes. Kim Kim has some feedback. Yes, let me let me yes. Yes, ma'am. Or oh, any questions? Oh, this is great. No, beautiful. <laughs> beautiful stuff. I love it all. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Yes. Hi. Hi. I this is I my name's Julia Wilson. I don't know why I'm suddenly here. Uh, Julia, are you done with Peter? Uh, yes, uh, Peter and I finished and then he clicked off and I've suddenly come into this room. I don't know why. OK, no, that's fine. If you're finished, then I'll um, send you to the next room now. OK, thank you. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Kim, are you good with um, Hansi Craft? Is there anything else you'd like to see while we're waiting? No, I loved everything um, uh, that she showed me. It was beautiful. That's your apron, right? Okay, yeah, and you have a purse too. I carry him back. It's a handbook. It's a carry him back. For oh, us, it's a handbag. A handbag, beautiful. Yeah, it's a handbag. So we are using it for storage. And then we have a necklace of which is made out of the copper and leather. Copper and leather is just the recycling of copper. There is copper and then in between is a leather. Oh, I love that. Now, how long does it take to make that? Um, it automatically takes you a day to make this necklace. One day. A day. One day. Yes. 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 Yeah. Yeah. I think there we go. Or maybe the last one. Maybe the last one is to show you the men attire. This is the men attire. Ah, men attire. Yeah. So, and th this one. It's been used just like it's a flying whisk. So a flying whisk, okay. Yes, there, there it is. And this one is called Reza Sani. Maybe you have heard about Reza Sani. This is what is representing him. I have not. <laughs> <laughs> That's a first. But this one is just representing the same people. They normally use it when they are dancing. This, dancing. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, one more question. Okay. Wood crazy hard to Wood crazy. Yeah. So we again the the main the man. Again, they actually produce the, the, the wood carving. Um, out of the trees that we have, recycling, they make some torches, they make some beds, they make whatever that we can think about, the mortars and all. So we have got this. We have got plenty of them. If maybe I can just show you. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't, I think you can see. So this okay. is the number of them that we have, all the drawings that you can think about. So again, we have got some baskets. The baskets, uh, Hansi Craft is not only focusing on the same community. Uh, it is also supporting other tribes who are interested of making crafts. So we have got the Hambukushi people that are making some baskets. So we have oh, got some beautiful. baskets in our shop. And then this is made out of the ostrich eggshells. It's a belt. A belt. Yes. So Love the belt for you to make a belt, it takes you almost three days to finish. Three days up this. to make a belt. We'd love yeah. to know that. Yes. And then we have got the necklace. This necklace is just a plain necklace which is made out of the ostrich actions. Then if you buy the necklace, a complete necklace, that's when you can make some other products like bracelet, headband, necklaces, some earrings. Out of okay. this. Yeah. And then I showed you the copper and leather. We have got the bracelets. 
out of the copper and leather. So this one is the double one, double double brace, double bracelet, and then we have got the single. It comes. Oh yeah, or maybe this is just some bracelets as you can see, different different patterns. We have got zigzag, we have got plain, and then lots and lots of the bow and arrows and magic balls. And then we have uh, dance and practice. Right, ladies. Um, I think your time is up and you, Kim. Thank Beautiful. You. No, thank you so much. Beautiful presentation. Thank you very much, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you for um showing us everything. I love it. Thanks for all your work on this. You did a great job. Yeah. So, Mamas, you can stay here, and Kim Hat will move you to another room now. Thank you. <laughs> bye bye. Kim, we're going to be moving you to another room shortly. Okay. You don't have to do anything. Just sit there. Okay. <laughs> yes, it's going to send you now. It's busy. Kurt, did you see that Stacey and Annie arrived? I think you've allocated them already. Uh, oh. Yes, I did. I sent them immediately when I saw them. Oh, no. Thank you. Stacey, yes. Uh, it seems like it failed to move you. It shows okay, that you're I'm good. Zoom already, Kim, but not. So let me just try again. No problem. I see Julie. Julie, how's it going for you? Have you moved to very so far? Julie, did you Hello. get back again? 
I just I was just talking to a chap in um, Namibia and and I've come back here. <laughs> I keep getting you back, Julia. <laughs> and Kim's stuck here. <laughs> oh no, sorry. <laughs> Funny. Were oh, you goodness. talking to Leon? Yes, I think so. We we just got as far as hello, and then he <laughs> went. He froze, and and then you've I been bounced back. back. Right. Sorry, okay. sorry about the good okay. guys. Listen, these oh, things no are going to happen, aren't they? No, exactly. Yeah. So shall I just wait here and? and yeah, talk? I think. Yeah, Kurt's yep. going to try and put you back. Uh, Okay. I'm sending you back to Leon now. Uh, okay. So we're just in there and then drop out. So I'm sending you back there. Right. Okay. Bye, Julia. Bye, Julia. Bye. Well, hopefully, if it works, fine. Um, so I don't okay. send him to that. Okay. Oh, okay. Now that's really strange because I can't see you. <sighs> okay. I can see myself, but I don't see you. I'm seeing Kim again. I got <laughs> Julia back. Good. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, Leon, I'm just trying to find you on... I don't know what I'm doing here. You see, I'm not great on Teams either, so. Okay. I'm JW, yeah. And then we've got Kim. <laughs> Who I am, I think I see more of Kim than any. Oh, hang on. There we go. What's going on here? <laughs> oh, no. I'm just trying to find. Okay, Julia, you're going now. It seems there were two Julia accounts and then Julie. So Julie went there, but now. Now it should send you to Leon now. Okay, thank you.
Hi, Annie, are you here now, right? In this room? Yes. Okay, thanks. And then um, Matswe, are you still here? Um, from Botswana, right? Um, yes, Mamswe is from Botswana. I was just speaking with her and she, I hung up and she stayed on the line. Uh, I, I think you were speaking with Christina from Luba. Oh. Okay, I'm so, I'm so sorry. So, I'm... so didn't you finish that meeting yet? Or because I assume yes. when you come back here that it's done. Yeah, exactly. And I'm so sorry. I only have about 20 more minutes before my next phone call. So I would, um, what is, how does this actually work? Like basically I just come drop back in and then you reconnect me to someone else. Um, if you you said now you have twenty minutes left. Yeah. So you can now, if my mom's way is still here, uh, my mom's way, are you here? Yes. Oh. I don't. I see my mom's way, but I don't hear her. Yes, I'm here. Okay. Uh, you can meet with Annie now before she goes. Then at least you can get to meet with her as well. Yes, I you we can. I can. Yeah, you can switch on your video now and um, you can meet with her here in this room, your room. Okay, there you great. go. Hello, thank you. Hello. Hello. I think I was just looking at your products, no? Your beautiful uh, necklaces. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes. Uh, maybe it's to uh, not to go that far. Is maybe to take you through the, uh, the, the the crops. Anyway, let me quickly introduce myself. Great. Yeah. Yeah. My name is Mama Swe Tikwenyani. I'm working for Hansi Crafts, and Hansi Crafts is a non-profit organization which is owned by the same community. Hansi Craft is actually working with 16 settlements, different settlements, uh, and working with 800 producers, which uh, 70%, 75% is women and 25% uh, is actually women, I mean men. So we are we're working uh, using ostrich eggshell, which is ostrich eggshell to actually uh, make all our crafts, our own yes. products. And then you're in um excuse me, you're based in you're based in Namibia. We are based we are basically in, in Botswana. In, in Botswana. Okay, okay, great. Yes. I've seen these I've seen these products when I was in uh, Namibia. Uh -huh. and, and and the clients that I work with now would be most interested in seeing what you can make with this for home decor. Do you have any home decor items? Home decor. Yeah, like things that you you can uh, put in the home, or do you only have jewelry? Yes, no, no things that we can put at home. Uh, out of this, we can use. You can. We don't have any in here, but you can make um, a cup just for decoration at home. Out of the ostrich action, you can make a, um, a, a, a like kind of a plate out of the ostrich action. So, but that is only for decoration. Yeah, and then, that's, that's what would be, I, I would be interested in seeing that. Because yes. to be honest, because to be honest, I don't sell a lot of uh, jewelry, but I'm most of my clients like things for the home. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but, that's why I ask. Oh yeah. No, yes, we can, we can make them. We can make them. I think uh, we are going to be, we, we will communicate more in email. We can communicate more and uh, we will send if you want to see our catalog we can send it to you guys we have got the outlook we can put some pictures we can make some samples of um like what i've been talking about so that you you can see them and then great. tell me exactly that would be great uh, do you can where shall i give you my email in this chat yes you, you can send it in this chat or you can send it to hansecraft at gmail.com I'll send it right here in this chat. See it? Fantastic. 
Okay, perfect. Thank yeah, you. I would love to see what you can make for the home. Like I could imagine you can make really beautiful decorative plates out of the eggshell and put them on the wall. That could be yes. interesting. Yes, we can do that. We automatically and, do that. And how much is something like that? Just one plate? Um, it, it will probably need me to sit down because each, each and every bead have got, we, 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 we count it like on waking hours. So in Botswana, the labor cost an hour is equivalent to five pula. So I will probably look uh, when I'm producing it, then that's when I can give it the cost. After finishing, okay. then I'll let you know. That would be wonderful. Well, yeah, I mean, I love your jewelry, but I, yeah, I don't really have any clients that want jewelry, but I would, I, I think the, the home decor is really interesting with that material. Yes, yes. Well, thank you very much. Uh, for yeah, no, thank you for your time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Beautiful sure. work. Thank you very much, ma'am. Okay. All Take right. care. Thank you, and you too. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Hi again, Annie. So do you still have some time? Yeah, I do. Okay, I'll send you to the next person. Great, thank you.
Andro, where is the music? Oh, I'm expect that. I'm saying, oh, I should expect that. Pat, um, did you see Julie was asking about how to leave one of the rooms? She says there's no leave button. Uh, sure, I'll just respond to her again now. <laughs> just running around trying to get everyone in new rooms, but I, you know, there should be the leave on the top. That's how you get out of it, but maybe uh, she could just hang up and join back. I'll answer her now. I can answer. Thanks.
we here acknowledge the receipt of your Okay, so such a thing is also in this room. Is that going to be like that? Hi, Julian. I think you've frozen. Julia? Welcome back, Julia. Goodness me, this is quite hectic. <laughs> sorry. Shame, sorry. I think we're learning a lot of lessons here. I hope it's still, I hope we're still <laughs> managing to interact with with people. Uh, I've had two meetings so far. Okay. Um, I just want to see if Gert's here, so he can. Yes, I'm here. Um, thank you, Mansway. Are you here? My mom's web. Hello. Hi, you, you can meet with Julia now. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Hi, Julie. Hi. <laughs> Do I click um, on you? Yes. Nice to meet you. I'm I'm not not camera's not on. Sorry Do you want to switch your camera on? Is, oh, can you see me? I can see you. Okay. <laughs> How, are you? How are you? I'm just I'm just standing next to my products. I think oh, you can lovely. see. Okay. Can you see? Oh, yes, lovely jewelry. What's it made from? Yes. This um uh, maybe uh this is my master's standing here. I'm working for Handicraft, and Handicraft is a non-profit organization which is owned hundred percent by the same community. I am SF. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Wonderful. so we are making uh, crafts out of the ostrich eggshell. Okay. 
this class that you see here that are made out of the ostrich action. So uh, out of the ostrich actions, we only have got three colors, which is the brown color, the black color, and the white color, which is the originated from the egg, white of the egg. So the, for the beads to become brown and black, we actually fry them with quicken oil. For, for five minutes, they turn brown, and for 10 minutes, they turn black. So these are the two colors that we have. So okay. um, for us to make a bracelet, we break the beads into small squares and triangle pieces. We drill them with the drilling stick. We cut them to become round. Firstly, we make a, a, what we, we make, we, we manufacture the, 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 the beads. And then after the beads, that's when we make a product. So when we, we smooth them using the sharpening stone and the rafter, we just put the beads in between and then you move your hand upside down for them to become smooth and round. And then when we finish, then we will be frying them and then make whatever that we can think about. It might be the necklace, it might be the, uh, it, it, might, it might be the earrings, and then it might be the neck band. This one okay. goes this way, and then it might be the head band. Oh, good note, okay. Yeah, so in handicrafts, handicrafts is also dealing with men and women. So we, most of the 85% the of women are the ones that are actually, 75% uh, of women are the ones that are actually producing the, using the beads, uh, beading in class. But men, men are, are making uh, things like flat bags. They are using leather to make this. So they will make the, the flat bag and then the women will decorate it. So it will be my husband who is actually making the the bag, and then I decorate it. <laughs> okay, okay, I get it. Very, and very, then, very nice. Yes, and then we have some, uh, this is a bow and arrow, and then we have got a magic bow. So the bow and arrow, in the old days, uh, it was being used for, for hunting. So the small boys were using these ones while the, 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 their parents are using the hunting set actually to hunt. But nowadays, because there is no, no more hunting, we are using this for decoration. At home, you can use it. We can even frame it. Uh, if you want it to be framed, we can do that. And if you don't want to be, it to, to be framed, we just sell it like this. It has got some arrows inside. It has got three arrows, a fire stick, and digging stick. Digging sticks were used for digging. If you find any fruit in the wild, you dig it and eat it. And then the, the firewood is used for making fire in the field. And then we automatically have a love ball, which is made out of the, of the skin or, or leather. The love ball is used by the hunter, by, but Again, it was an uh, it was the object which was uh, been used by the sun in the past. I, I, I'm 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 telling this is a secret. In the <laughs> in the past, they were actually using it to approach women to propose. Huh? So if they shoot next to me, if a man actually shoot next to me, when I pick up the arrow, then I am showing that yes, I agree with his proposal so he's oh. going to we are going to be a wife and husband oh okay interesting <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. And, yeah that's that's that, that that's it and then we have got the uh, digging i mean this is a working stick for so our right. own they were using it uh actually for dancing and dancing but again in working if if you if you want and then we have got made some of the things that we have. This is a dance and rattle. So we, uh, the same people are using this for dancing. So you can hear the sound. It has got a sound. And then nice. and this one here is a, a horn. 
So it is just from representing the same people. We were wearing this when dancing. So when you are dancing, you will be actually uh, um, showing people that, it, because when we are dancing, there are some stories out of all every song that we sing. Sometimes you will be dancing uh, inspired from the, 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 the hymns book, and then you will be putting this, showing people that this is how the hymns book was. Uh, maybe when you are hunting it, it you will be uh, doing this and that, using this. And then we have got um, uh, men attire. This is men attire. This is okay, what you have to show me because I'm just looking at. Okay. Yeah. And this one, yeah. this one is for women. This one. Can you see it? Mm hmm. So oh, this yeah. is the bra. The bra. This is the right. bra and this is the skirt. And this is the apron that is coming on front. And then okay. we have um, uh, this, our, our pendants. Pendants, we wear them like this. Okay. We go this way. So it will be like that. Everything is for decoration. I think that's how uh well i can take you but and the last one is just to show you that and then the the action that we are using for making this product again the uh, this eggshell we are again using using it as a storage water storage we kept water in it because in the in the old days there was no fridges for us to keep water so we are putting water in, in here, put it in the house. It will become very, very, very cold. And then you drink it. And again, right. we have got the decorated action. This one uh -huh. is for, just for decoration. We can see there's an animal drawing on it. Okay. Right, yeah. just wait there okay. because I'm going to get something to show you to see if you can do just wait i'm gonna find something i want to show you okay okay so now do you see these ostrich eggs Yes, that one is painted. Yes. Can you do ostrich eggs painted? Yes, we can. Okay. Yes. Right. So if I needed to get some things like these, you could be able to do that for me. Yes, we can do that because that is only the spray. We spray you spray it with the any color that you want it to be, and then it becomes shiny and the color that you want. Okay, and then this one is stippled, so it's got like black. Uh, can you see something like that? Yeah, I can see some, bl some black spots. That's it. Yeah. So that's like, I don't know how you do that. I, th I, think, I think they were actually just really like uh, graving it. They're not they're not drilled. They're like the the surface of the egg is very is uh, pitted, mm -hmm. and and then there's like little black. Yeah, I don't know. It's like where the metal bumps in the egg are. There's like yeah. a little spot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because um, what I. Um, what my buyers buy most of is decor items. So yes. these are obviously because they're, they're complete ostrich eggs. So people buy these and put them in um, like a bowl as a decoration. Yes. You know what I'm saying? On a, yes. In the middle of a table. So that yeah. might be something that, um, you know, we would be interested in looking at with you. Because if, yeah. if you obviously you obviously have a good supply of eggs, yeah. Okay. 
All right. Well, that's something that we could talk about. Yeah. Uh, so, because I'm sure that you're always looking for new ideas, right? Yes. Oh, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, your, yeah. Your product is absolutely beautiful, and obviously, a huge amount of talent and effort goes into it. Yeah. Um, I I just uh, I don't know how you guys do it and do all the drilling without breaking so much, you know? <laughs> yes, yes, you have to be very careful. <laughs> I'm sure you do. Yes. I'm sure you do. Oh, yeah. well, that's fantastic. That's great. If I have any buyers looking for jewellery, yeah. I'll know where to come to. I think the other items might be a little bit um, basic for us, but, um, you know, I'm certainly interested uh if you are able to do some colored um ostrich eggs okay so have a yeah. think about it and um i'm sure that uh the team who've put this uh, uh workshop together will will be sharing out uh, contact details and everything so that'd be great. Right. 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 we okay. will we will thank you very much <laughs> yes well so done nice to meet you. Okay. Okay. Julia, let me tell and um, and um, Julia is, is finished with Hans Craft. Where am I going now? Okay. okay. Um, I muted Julia and Mamasui just to stop the echo. Gert, are you here? Yes, I just came back. I'll send you to a new room now, Julia. OK, thank you. Okay. Can you see it in my chat? I can see. Mm. My phone shell is there. Oh, nice way. Are you there? Hello. Hello. Mm -hmm. Mm. I've just introduced you to Julia on email. Yes, ma'am. So the, the two of you can talk about what she's looking for. Yes. And then what it is with, with um, home goods, they generally take a lot of product. Yes, so not like 10 pieces or 20 pieces. They're looking for like 300, 400, sometimes even more. Yes. So what we can do is you, me, and Herod, um, can can have a look at your pricing yeah. and and help you with the pricing because they're also going to ask you to give them a price which is called free on board fob and what that means is you have to get the product to durban because it goes on a ship from durban so yeah. that can help you with those prices so that you can offer them an FOB price in dollars. Yes, and we'll copy um, Herod on all the emails so that he can help you in country. Um, yes. And let's see if we can get you a test order with Home Goods. Um, one of the things that is logistics, so what they will ask you to do is if, say, for example, you're going to do three eggs, three colors, yes. they will ask you to pack so many of 
the three colors into a small box. The small yes. box goes into a big box. And um, there's a special label you have to do. But what I'm trying to say is, is me and Herod are there to help you. Uh -huh. Don't be like daunted. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Because <laughs> we, we can help you with the logistics and, and to be ready. Okay. I'll give okay. you an example. We have a small company here in Eswatini called Zogs, yes, and yes. they got a home goods order, which we we linked them with the project last year. We linked them to home goods, and she was terrified. She was like, "No, I can't do this. I can't do this. I can't." But we helped her, and now she's on her second order for home wow. goods. And those two orders together were almost yes. four hundred thousand rand. Okay. Think about it. So we're here to help you. All right. Yes, so don't, don't be overwhelmed by it. We'll we'll walk you through it. Thank you. All right, my love. Thank you. Thank you very much, ma'am. Thanks, Julie. Um, we have Stacy or not to meet with you as well, Mom answer it. Yeah. Hi, nice to meet you. That's exciting that Home Goods was was interested in something, just listening in. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, ma'am. Hi, Stacy. Hi, Julie. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, good to good to hear your voice. Good to hear you. All right, I'll I'll go away now. <laughs> You're fine. So yes, tell me a little bit about your company, your products. I would love to hear. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much to have me here. <laughs> I'm very happy to uh, actually have an opportunity to, uh, to introduce Hansi Crafts and myself to you. My name is Mama Swe Kikonyane. Um, I'm working for Hansi Crafts uh, as a field coordinator. And uh, again, I'm a pro I am a producer by myself. <laughs> exactly. So Hansi Crafts is a non-profit organization which is owned by the Sen community, 100%. So uh, we, Hanscraft is actually dealing with 16 different settlements, which have got 800 producers. Out of the 800 producers, we have got 75% of women and 25% of men, whereby the women are actually producing uh, crafts out of the ostrich eggshell, uh, the, the different, uh, different products out of the ostrich eggshell. So the ostrich actually um, talking about the shell, uh, the plain shell, and then out of this, we are making, we have got uh, 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 some bracelets, some necklaces, some, some headbands, and then some pendants. And then out of this, we have got only three colors out of the ostrich actions. The, the one, uh, one color is the original mm -hmm. color, which is, the out, which is coming from the ostrich action it is white and then two colors which we make that is the black and the brown color the black and the brown color we are that are actually fried with quicken oil we use quicken oil to fry them we can fry them for if you fry them for five minutes they turn brown and then we fry them for more than five minutes but you have to be you have to be very careful and then very intelligent <laughs> have to do that so they become black. So these are the colors that I'm actually talking about. So these are my two different uh, bracelets with two, three different colors, white, brown, and black. And we are making some earrings out of the ostrich eggshells. We have got some earrings. We have got some uh, neck bands. Oh, you froze real quick. I don't know if you can hear me, but you're frozen. I'm hoping it, it fixes. Oh, no. OK, we'll try to talk to her to see how she can link back in. OK. <laughs> And Maswe has frozen. Yeah. <laughs> she has. <laughs> How are you, Stacey? 
I'm good. Yeah, I'm very good. Julie, how are you? I'm also good, thank you. How did your interview go? Oh, it went well. Yes, sorry about that. I had um, two Don't scheduled stress. with two different artisans um, wow. for a case study that I'm writing about tribal textiles. So, um, nice. yeah, yeah, but it was very good. And then I had trouble getting... I kind of got kicked off this platform a couple times. I tried to come back in a couple times, so it could have been me. Sorry, we we have had a few glitches today. I do apologize. That's all right. You know, it happens anytime you're using tech, right? Yeah. At, at least none of us are cats. <laughs> I don't. I loved that one. That was so funny with that lawyer that his child's been playing with his computer. That was yes. so funny. <laughs> I, I'm really a human. <laughs> uh, Kurt, we seem to have lost my muswe. Have we got someone we can send Stacy to, please? I can wait too if she's able to get back on. Sadiba, could I ask you or maybe her just to reach out to my master just to see? Yes, ma'am, I'm working on that now. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, she may have just lost power. Yeah. Power or connectivity. Yeah, yeah, connectivity. It may have always an issue. Julie, uh, can I ask you how many different businesses are on this morning? Morning for me, this afternoon for you. There's nine. How nine. many have you seen so far? I think I've seen three. Oh gosh. No. Okay, then let's not waste let's not waste your precious time. Um, Gert, are you there? Can you take Stacy to another room, please? He looks like he's on hold. I'll try and reach him on WhatsApp. Okay. Oh, oh, I'm back. Uh -huh. I'm back. <laughs> He's back. I got okay. lost. Actually, uh, my, my, my internet, I was using two dongles, so another one gets flat. So I was just doing the backup. I'm very sorry for that. Very sorry for that. Sorry. Don't worry. Okay. No problem. All right. All right. Yeah. I even forget where I was. <laughs> but actually... <laughs> But actually, I was saying, and this is what uh, our women are actually producing out of the ostrich actions. And then you will find that there are so many, there are some uh, uh, some items or designs that uh, we are being inspired out of the wild animals. Uh, we have got a necklace like this one. This necklace, it looks like the backbone of the python. So we are calling it since the design is is according is, is looks so, we are calling it a snake bone necklace. So <laughs> that's how it goes. And then uh, out of from the egg, we have got some decorated egg shells. We have got decorated egg shells, and then we have got the plain ones. Mama, so in the, decorate, in the decorated egg, we are also inspired by them pictures using the pictures of the wild animals that we have Mama's in Botswana. Mama, we're sorry to interrupt you, my so dear. You can, uh, this one has got a snake and then the trees. And then we have got another one which have got um, some. Mama, we have, oh, got, you know, we have got a picture of King's book. <laughs> so that's what we do. Mama's so the male, our male pro producers, our male producers are making things Sorry, like... Mama, swear we can't see you. Can you can try and put your video back on for us, please? Can you see me? Yes. Okay. Oh, Thank oh. you very much. You just popped oh, you away. Just away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's, uh, it's, it's, what's going on? There we go. There we go. Uh, oh, yeah. Are we together? Yes. 
So our male, our male producers are, this is what they are actually producing. The 25% of the male that I was talking about, this is a flat bag. A flat bag is, out, is made out of the leather. So they will pro actually make the, the, the flat bag. The flat bag, we are using it as an, a handbag or a carrying bag. So the, he will produce, uh, make a bag, and then I sit as a woman or a wife or a girlfriend, decorate it. As you can see that it is decorated. <laughs> it is decorated with the ostrich action. So that's what we do because we actually you do this with our kids. You don't, we don't want to leave them behind. We are making sure that they are also engaged to actually do the productions. Those are beautiful. They have to heritage. They have to heritage this. They must know this. And then this is what they again uh, produce. This is our bow and arrow, and this is our magic bow. So the magic bow is used just before the Bushmen set out on a a hat, a hand, a hat to give them luck. Therefore, they will shoot one arrow from the bow, and the in whichever direction the arrow has, they follow it, knowing that they will find lots of animals. That was their belief. <laughs> and then, then they were but, but they were using it for hunting. Okay. Yes. <laughs> and then they will be having a love ball. A love ball is actually made out of the, it is made by the, with, with a skin, something, it is here, something like this, something like this. This is the love ball. Yeah. So our love ball, in the old days, uh, the love bomb is used by the hunter by shooting the arrow, the arrow next to the woman. If the woman picks it up, then that woman will be showing that, um, good luck, I'm in love with you. <laughs> so they were using it for propose the woman. But that was, it is no longer being used like that. We are, we are, we are now <laughs> in a certain stage. So, yeah. And then there are lots and lots of necklaces that we are actually making out of the ostrich action. As you can see, this is our ostrich action. This is the belt. A belt. Okay. And this is the necklace. And this is the necklace. As I was saying that the necklaces, you, we actually manufacture making the necklace. And then out of the next necklace, that's when we make some other things. Therefore, we, again, we have got, this is our um, copper and leather. So you can see it. There are some little bit of copper on this leather and then silver uh, wire. We uh, do recycling. We actually, when they throw this away, we ask them to give it to, the, to our community. And then we uh, train them to make it good and good quality, nice. And then they will be making necklaces out of it and then uh, source money. And this is our wild um, beads. This is necklaces are made out of the wooden and grass. You can okay. see that. And combined with the glass beads, combined with the glass beads. And then we again have some bracelets out of the copper and leather. We have got double bracelets and then the single ones, this ones. And so this is our walking stick. Our old, old grandpapas and they were using this and then again, but again we were using it for dancing. So I'm going to show you uh, our women traditional attire. Okay. This is our women traditional attire. This is the skirt, this is the bra, and this is the uh, apron that comes on front, and this one goes at back, at the back, and then some necklaces. Our uh, pendants is one of these ones, the one that I'm I'm putting on. Okay, so, so those are more traditional. Those pendants. Yes, they are more traditional. And then our men, our men attire. This is that dancing trouser, that's how we call it. It's the trouser, this is what they were putting on. And then this is what they were using as dancing hats, putting it <laughs> like this. <laughs> I like it, I like the dancing hat. And then this is the flying whisk. So, 
and then the dancing rattles. So they were using this for dancing. So yeah, there we go. Oh, All right, so tell me of the beads, it looks like you have lots of different sizes. Do the prices uh, change depending on the size of the ostrich bead or just by the size of the piece? I, I can't get you. you. It's like your 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 speaker is not good. Oh shoot. Um, I was just asking about the sizes of the different beads. <laughs> and uh, like, how do they make the really small ones? I really like the very small beads. We we in in the the ostrich eggshells. It's very difficult for you to make one size because they are produced by the dif by different people and then they are cutting them differently so we have been trying to uh, set up the standards of our crafts but it's a little bit hectic uh, so there are they, they will be like there are various various of the sizes but we, we try to make small the small the small and smallest ones they never come to the same <laughs> size never i will be lying <laughs> That is okay. And uh, the prices on your, I really liked the bracelets, especially that you showed before you, before yeah. you popped off that kind of had the leather closures. How much are those? Uh, this one is 90, 98 pula 40, which is uh, in US dollars. I think it's nine, nine US dollar 84 cents. Okay. Yeah. And is it adjustable or just one size? It can it be tightened or is it one size? It's, it's, it's one size, but you can adjust it. You can make two holes so that if uh, it is too big and then you can move it uh, to another floor. Okay. Yeah. And because our by using doing our standard, we have got measurements on the bracelet. So the bracelet, you will find that we are saying it's maybe 14 to 15 centimeters. Okay. Yes. So if you are ordering, then you will size your hand and tell me that I want 15 uh, centimeters bracelet of code 1213. Then automatically I will know exactly what you want. Okay. Okay. Yes, ma'am. And tell me, have you um, have you shipped to the U.S. before? Uh, yes, we have sold to U.S. before. Uh, we had a customer called um, Cecilia Duncan. Duncan, she okay. she she used to buy from us, so it it was not giving us any problem to actually uh, I mean send products to to U.S. Uh, did you send through uh, DHL or EMS? How, how do you ship? EMS. EMS, okay. Yes, ma'am. And one thing I wonder with the ostrich shell, I know having imported other um, animal products before, sometimes we have to have a food and wildlife certification. Did she have that problem at all? Did she have to get any kind of special... Certification. We, have never, we have never had any problem with her uh, about because we, I, I was selling some ostrich eggs, whole eggs to her, and then the broken ones, even the, the necklaces, we have never had any problem. But what we normally do to our customers, we make sure that we 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 have we send you a letter. We give you a letter, which will be a covering letter of saying that. Uh, this ostrich eggs is, 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 is from Hunticraft. It is farmed because here in Botswana, there is an issue of poaching. Okay. <laughs> yes. All right. So that letter helps show that it is a sustainable. Uh, yeah. Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. That's helpful. And I haven't had time to go through the lookbook yet. Do you have most of your products in uh, the lookbook that Julie sent, or do you have additional line sheets or a, a lookbook? Or 
Yeah, we have got um, we have got a catalog that uh, we we have been working on. It is almost finished. I think we will send it to you guys. We have got a lookout. We will. You, I think you'll go through it. In, in okay. The, yeah. Yeah. And part of part of the project, Stacey, is to build fourteen catalogs for the smaller enterprises. So we've been working with Hansi on building a beautiful catalog. So we are almost there. So we'll be able to send it in the next few days. I'm making notes. <laughs> yes. That is fantastic. And whenever you get it done, it's fine. You don't have to hurry it for me, but that's great to know that you're building this. Yes. Wonderful. Yes. Thank you, Mama Sue, so Thank much. You. You're doing Thank such you. a good job. Thank you. Thank yes, you. You're a very much. good salesperson. Bye <laughs> right. bye. Bye, love. So, Stacey, what we're going to do, because we're going over time, is we're just going to limit the next couple of uh, meetings to five minutes and try and... Yeah, and I only have five, five, five minutes. I need okay, so you need to go at five. Yes. All right, no problem. No, that's fine. Okay. Stacey, Leon, are you in this room? And have you met, have Leon and Stacey, have you met? Stacey, have you met Leon? Namibia? Uh, with the leather products? No. No, I have not. Okay, there we go. Leon? Hi. There we go. Hi. Hi, go ahead. I feel like I'm echoing, so I'm gonna mute mine and I'm gonna let you tell me about your company and your product. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put my headphones on at the moment. Just give me a second. Okay, I'm just just wanna see that I'm in the right one. Okay, so what's what's going on here? I think uh, you're presenting to me. Can you hear oh, me? Yes. <laughs> no, <that's fine>. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Leon, you back uh, in the scenery. No. Um, back in the plenary, Gert is having some technical issues, so we're giving you a chance to present to Stacey in the plenary. So oh, sorry, okay, cool. an audience. We're looking okay, forward cool. to it. <laughs> no, cool. Um, Stacey, hi. Um, I'm Leon. I'm the owner and the lead, lead designer of Leon Ingebrecht D. Um, I was first in IT and then I changed careers when I was 36 years old. I basically jumped the corporate ship. So, um, and then I started uh, to get involved with textile design, interior design, and leather uh, manufacturing. So all of our products um, are hand-sewn. Um, so that is how I was taught, and th that is how I am teaching my, my, my staff as, as well. So I've got a staff complement of three at the moment. Um, and then... Yeah, so that is um, basically it. I have got two ranges at the moment. I've got my um, normal leather range, and then I, I also impo uh, import a leather from Italy, um, which is a vegetable tanned. So that's the more sort of environmentally friendly leather. I try, I'm trying to introduce that into the market, you know, to, to make people more aware of, um, you know, that, 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 is, that is also sort of where I want to take the brand at the, um, you know, at the, at the moment. But because of the, of the uh, difference in price, the sourcing of the vegetable tanning is a bit more expensive than the, than the normal chromium tandem ones, you know. Um, so, yeah, so that is basically me in, in a nutshell. I don't know whether um, you want me to, to take you through the products or maybe you could tell me a bit more about you. Just to just to sort of see, you know, and, and, and sort of which uh, markets you operate in. Yeah, so I'll uh, give you a little bit of my background. I ran a, a social enterprise called Global Girlfriend, working mostly with women's cooperatives for okay. uh, 17 okay. years. Then started a consulting business in 2014. So I started Global Girlfriend in 2003 started a consulting business in 2014 and I do sourcing for uh, different companies that I used to sell wholesale to. Uh, yeah. So, and it, it's, I'm no longer, it doesn't have to only be women made, although that has always been kind of where my focus has been. Yes, um, yes. 
It, your products look lovely. I would love to to hear more about, um, you know, have you exported and more about kind of their their pricing and the volume. You said you have three three producers right now. Yes, yes, yes. yes. So, so, so you know that that is that is sort of where my challenges lie at the moment. I'm at that point where I want to grow and I want to expand and I want to appoint more on people, but. You know, uh, sort of the, the the current financial sort of environment doesn't allow me to overcommit on space and on you know um, sort of salaries and that and that kind of kind of thing. So I'm I'm also just you know this platform is so amazing just to talk to everyone that's buying just to see where the interest lies. I mean, my um, what I'm what I'm finding is that people looking at African countries to source is looking for something that. Um, is a bit more African, you know, something that that might, um, you know, be uh, a leather or say zebra hides that you find locally. I think my um, DM Zion aesthetic is more classical, and you know, I, I don't, I don't really tell an African story. If you look at the product, um, uh, it's 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 um, you know, it's more sort of um i i don't know what to what to what to sort of call it but you know like you you, you won't find a springbok um hair piece on my products you won't find a zebra hide lining kind of a thing um i i i um yeah so so that is not really my my vibe but, and i don't um, think you have to be apologetic for that in any yeah. way right i think your line looks really beautiful and looks like uh it could compete with other classic lines like it. So yes. I, I don't think that, uh, but tell me a little bit about the price because I think one challenge when you're competing against something where people really do have comparables, yes. uh, you have to be able to compete on price. Yes. So that is, um, again, you know, where the challenge lies because of the hand stitch and the hand sewn nature. It's difficult for, for me to stay competitive in the market because there's, there's not many people that are hand sewing. Most are machine made and they can push volumes. So I can take you through the range. That um, large tote there at the back retails for 2,900 NAM dollars. Um, uh, and then I, I don't know if, if I can take this camera a bit closer so you can have a look. Let me just have a look. And then um, there on the side is a um, messenger type style bag, you know, that sort of fits your laptop and work documents, those those yep. kind of things. I've got a travel duffel bag there at the at the back. Um, mm -hmm. You know what 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 um, what what I also um, would also differ Rich says my products is that I give a lifetime warranty on the um, on the sewing. You know, so because of the hand stitch nature, that saddle stitch is such a strong stitch that even, you know, if something be, um, comes undone, it won't sort of break or unravel, you know. So it's it's um, it's very satisfying to know that I haven't had any returns on any of my products that I've sold in the past five of years, you know. So um, that is that is something that I'm sort of very pedantic about. And all of the products are, we also only use solid brass hardware that I import from the States. So, you know, all the nickel and the nickel plated hardware is to the quality is just not that great. So I didn't want to make a hand stitched product and then skimp or sort of, you know, offer a lesser quality hardware. Um, yeah. Yes. So um, just to let me, let me show you. So then I've got like my version of the of the hip bag that retails for one thousand five hundred. Um, that is something that you can wear around your waist, you can wear it around your shoulder, you can wear it across the body. Um, there is another laptop sort of work bag um, uh, here as well that retails for three three thousand nine hundred and fifty dollars. So that that has got a top zip, um, multiple pockets on the on the inside. So um, can I ask you quickly? Are are those your dollars or my dollars? That is our dollars. So I do have a, I, I do, yeah. So I can give you the US dollar retail price. Um, let me just quickly have a look. So the executive was 260 US. Two, okay, okay. That That's yeah. helpful. <laughs> yes, 200, 260 US. That other travel bag, the travel duffel that I showed you is 330 US. Okay. Um, the other laptop bag, the messenger bag, is 300 US. 
Um, yeah, that's great. that just gives me a better idea of kind of where your price range lies. Yes. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Um, so, so, so this is the this is the sort of normal chromium chromium tanned leather range that you know is practical and you know a range that people can you know sort of use on the on their daily daily basis. There's things like toiletry bags, um, leather bow ties, full leather ties, leather suspenders that sort of been selling really well for people getting married. Um, well, that's fine. And yes, and then. Um, I don't know if, if, if I can show you the vegetable tanned range. Um, so these things I'm sort of really uh, passionate uh, uh, about just not just because of the quality of the leather, but, you know, because of the, um, you know, sort of more environmentally friendly way that the leather has been has been tanned. So there's no chemicals in it. Um, and I also input all the all the hardware on 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 these um product so you know the the um what do you call it the hardware that is used is just really nice on the touch and they're really really good quality um and then i have various things like card holders minimalist wallets those kinds of kinds of things um yeah and you know i'm trying to sort of push both ranges at the same time to to cater for two different kinds of markets because they are people that really appreciate um, you know, uh, quality leather product in the way that it's made and some that doesn't. So right. um, I'm sort of trying to happy to, to, to keep both sort of market segments happy at the, at the, at the same time. <laughs> no, that's great. Your products are really, really beautiful. Thank you, Leon. Thanks, Thank JC. You. Thank you very, very much. <laughs> JC, please, can we bother you for four minutes just to introduce you to Maisha, if you don't mind? Would it be all right? Thank Yes, that is good. I have another call at 930 and have to do something right before okay. 930 time. Oh, yeah. Thank you but very yeah, much. Thanks, thanks Leon. Right, um, well, Maisha, thank you so much, do, you, do, you, Maisha, do you want to come and say hi to Stacey? You want to put your camera on, please? We've Hi, we've already met Stacey. Oh, yes, we met. <laughs> we met. Yep, we're good. Oh, you've met Stacey. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm just trying to see who we could connect you with, but I didn't realize you'd already met. We've met Stacey, Annie, and uh, Mimi. So you need but to meet Julia. You need to meet Julia then, <laughs> who's in a room. Thank you. Know what, Stacey? Let me not keep you anymore. I don't see any of the other enterprises on the list that are in the plenary. But thank you so much and for bearing with us. I know we've had a few technical issues today. We'll make it better for next week. And you know what? It was great, great to to meet all these great artists and groups. Really beautiful products today. So we'll see you next week. Thanks, yeah, Stacey. Thank Take care. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Okay, so Rachel, you guys, let's see if we can get Julia into the plenary so you could meet her. Thank you. Kurt, I don't know if it's possible to bring to bring Julia over to meet Maisha. Yes, there we go. Hi, Julia. We just wanted to introduce you to Maisha from... From where, sorry? From, from Namibia. <laughs> Maisha oh, hi. Hi. Hello. How are you? Hi, fine. And you? Good. Fine, thank you. Nice hi, to meet hi. you. My name is Rachel and this is Melissa. Hi, Rachel and Melinda. <laughs> so show me a little bit about what you guys do. Okay, Maisha Leather Products uh, started in 2015 by Sandra Baumeister and Kim Kibble, their best friends, and they wanted to start a company that made high-end leather products for working with local Namibian ladies. Um, we had a small workshop, about four or five ladies and a couple of guys. Uh, none of them could work with leather before. They all used to sew, but uh, they'd never worked with leather before. So um, um, we now... We have um, a small shop at the Hilton Hotel here in Vintook, and we have our workshop with a, a small shop, factory shop, and um, an outlet at the coast. And um, I wondered maybe you'd like to see some of our products and give you an idea of the pricing, and you could let us know if you think we're kind of on, you know, like um, in the right ballpark. I'll, kind of I'll just quickly explain from my point of view. Um, we don't buy a lot of accessories. We tend to buy more homeware. 
um, okay. So that's that's one of the things. Um, and because I, I work for um, a company called TJ Max Corporation, they're yep. quite a big retailer and um, anything they do on the leather side, they unfortunately, they don't have the staff to be able to explain beautiful products. They're more of a department store um, rather. So I'm going to say something. What would be the equivalent? I mean, I suppose a little bit like... Um, I'm going to say Mr. Price is probably okay. yeah. the closest type of thing. I mean, look, the product that we buy is absolutely beautiful, but it's re it's merchandised like Mr. Price. So lots of items on the shelves and people come up and, and help themselves and look and um, uh, and kind of check, check the pricing. That's okay. what the customers do when they come yeah. to our store. Um, they looking really for a bargain. We yeah. do a lot of African products because we do African events. Um, and that's more to do with home decor. So we buy lots of baskets, lots of um, sort of orn African ornaments, carved wood and this type of thing. So yeah. I think on, on your leather accessories, and I said this to um, one of your countrymen colleagues, Leon, yeah. um, that it's not really our thing. Okay. Um, but uh, if you don't mind telling me, so bearing that in mind, um, you know, because I can't really give you any pointers as to, as uh, you know, yeah. on how to further your business with our stores. I think there may be a few buyers on the platform today that um, work with smaller boutique type um, stores that yeah. might be more of a better match to you. Yeah, no, I think that would be right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. we tend to buy big volumes and, um, and uh, but we want low pricing. Yeah, no, I totally understand. And yeah, like I say, we're a very small workshop. Um, right. So we wouldn't be able to yeah. supply uh, yeah. volumes of things. Right. Um, and so all, I don't know if you really want to waste your time. But no, I don't know if you no, look at not. anything either. <laughs> yeah, no, show me anyway, because you never know, things change. And, okay, I'll show you um, some of the you know, smaller stuff, the stuff that's easy to make and quick. <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, we, we developed because, um, you know, COVID came and uh, we couldn't really sell bags. Um, so we started making things like this backgammon set. All oh, right. Okay, okay. For travel. So, and so all, uh, we've got. Uh, we make the um, counters out of um, bone and horn, and um, then it all wraps up inside this little goodie. And so you've got like kind of like a camping um, backgammon set. So it's quite a nice mm. gift. Um, oh, that yeah. at the moment in US dollars, that would. Um, this is without shipping because um, we don't know. We've never shipped to the US before. So. Right. Shipping's usually quite expensive um, from here, um, but at the moment that's about fifty-eight US dollars. Um, so yeah, and then all the other little things we do are stuff you know like sunglass cases, and um, there's another type of sunglass case. They're about thirteen, twelve, thirteen US dollars roughly. Um, and then these little goodies—they're these ear pod um, holders. Oh yeah, are those is the um. Is the like the zebra skin? Is that printed or is that real? No, it's um fake fur. It's on real leather. Um, it's bovine right. okay. leather, but it's on uh, the fur is fake. No, we, 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 okay. we, we wouldn't. Well, I think those are really cute. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so I mean, it's that kind of little thing we've now started to to get into, but I'm afraid we don't really do any sort of home decor. So, yeah. Mm. yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, but um, you know, do you sell into Cape Town in? Because you know, obviously, the waterfront there would be a great uh, yeah place for um, product. Well, um, our two um, directors did go down to Cape Town to have a look, but they mm -hmm. yes, it's an amazing place to be able to sell things there. But they've already got a lot of people in South Africa mm -hmm. making this kind of thing. You know, yeah. Um, yeah. so for Namibia, it's quite nice because there's not too many of us doing it. Um, we know yeah. Leon, we you know, Vintuk's very small, yeah. and Leon makes yeah. great stuff, which is very different yeah. to ours. Um, yeah, but yeah, in Cape Town, I mean, there's lots and lots of people making, I think, this kind of thing, possibly. Um, mm. so it wasn't so easy to try and get into a store there, which we did try in mm. hotels and you know, but it, it really didn't seem to work. Yeah, it's like, um 
unfortunately the world is a stuff up at the moment isn't it and yeah. <laughs> um you know with every, uh, you know i'm finding it obviously hard to support my vendors at the moment that yeah. um yeah. you know we've been doing a lot of business with over the years mainly on the um uh, on baskets and things like that we buy a lot you know the swazi baskets from god yeah. and places yeah. like that and um you know unfortunately we we're chipping up prices all the time because yeah, yeah. and you know everyone's so oh, but we've had such a hard time with covid but then so have the retailers you know they've, they've had to close for years for for months yeah. you know last year they were all closed so they've they've got big debts they have to pay off as well so I'm sure, you know yeah. it's it's yeah. it's a bit of a never ending cycle at the moment hopefully i don't know how things are in namibia are you getting back to if you want normal or not really i mean our economy no. is tremendously you know we've only got about oh, no. just over 2 million people living here it's a big country there's only about 2 yeah. million people living here and we had an amazing um tourism sector it was great. Yeah. It was, you know, um, that just totally, totally went under. Um, uh, yeah, and I think we're still in lots of countries. We're still classed as a red country, so we yeah, want the tourists to come, and it's pretty safe here at the moment. And and they're yeah. doing everything they can for tourists coming in. But I think when you go back to UK, the US, Germany, it's very mm. difficult for you guys to have been here. You still have to go into quarantine, and you know, people just don't want to do that, which I totally understand yeah also i mean i i also think as well that in, until um you know the african countries get their vaccination programs I off know. the ground no yeah. you know it's a huge thing um i mean i'm actually in the uk right now but i i live in south africa but we happen to be we happen to my uh, unfortunately i you know i had came over with my husband for family reasons and we kind of got stuck here with COVID. And we decided to stay here for a while, not thinking it would be a year and a half later. <laughs> um, but it's amazing how you can transfer your life if you need guess, to. It yeah. is quite hard, you know. Yeah. But we'd say yeah. desperate to get back to Oh, yeah, South you're missing it. <laughs> Massively. Have you been um, to Namibia at all? Uh, I have been to Namibia. Um I would love to come again. Um, I've only ever I've been to Windhoek, but um, I'd like to explore more on a yeah. personal level. But um, yeah, we've um, we you know, and we've had some of the um, fantastic Namibian people visit us in South Africa with okay. crafts. We, I, I worked for um, for a while. I did some work for a company called Cost Plus World Market, who are based on the. Um, west coast in california and they had a huge business buying um just containers of giraffes the carved oh, giraffes from okay yeah and, uh, and 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 i think a lot of the um if you like the curios or the artistry from namibia is very different from anywhere else in africa and it's yeah. really beautiful so yeah. yeah yeah no a lot of it is I like the your sad thing is quite a lot of it's not made by namibians <laughs> no okay so where do they come from well we've got zimbabwe. quite a lot of zambians here and guys from zimbabwe yeah. they're amazing carvers um yeah yeah, yeah i mean there there yeah. are obviously there are some really good namibian yeah. people but not too many not. you know um and then yeah. in okahanya which is just um uh east west east of of Vintuk, um, they have a big carving market. So your people probably went there where you can just go and there's rows and rows of giraffes. And, and that's all like falling apart now because the tourists, nobody's ever going there. So I don't know where those guys all went to. It's just so dreadful, isn't it? I know. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm I'm from the here, from here, but my husband is Zimbabwean actually, and we lived in Harare for many years. Okay. And, um, and then we were in... Uh, down in Durban for 16 years and our ha home at the moment down there is in the Eastern Cape um, and but many 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 of the carvers and the and 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 the weavers and the beaders are from Zimbabwe yeah yeah and I guess they've all no. felt they must leave or go and find other work somewhere it's just things don't sound good there even before Covid <laughs> I know yeah. it's such a it's a, such a shame because there is huge talent all over yes. the continent and yeah. you know yeah. trying to um, to uh, kind of support it in the right direction it sometimes is quite hard. 
Yeah. But um, yeah. but yeah. Uh, listen, we've been lucky. We've bought some beautiful things, and we'll continue to. So good. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Okay. Well, don't feel we have to stay on. I'm sure you've got. Are, are you meeting other people or? I don't know. You're the fourth person we've seen, so there might be. I think couple there's only no four or five of us. Either. I think. Okay. But thank you, Julia. I'm not going to keep you any longer. You've been here since three o'clock, and we are so grateful to you. Oh no, pleasure. And I'm sorry. I don't know why, but I kept clicking in and out, and I kept losing people. And oh goodness. No, we, but, <laughs> we, we we absolutely assure you that we will do our very best to make it even better next time. So we don't oh, have the tech issues. It's been great. And I'll see you next week. Then next Monday, yeah. Brilliant. Thanks, Julia. Take care. Bye. Bye. Bye, Julia. Uh, Rachel, are you still there? Rachel, yes, we are. Um, yes. Please, can you tell me which buyers you've seen? Yes, we've seen um, Stacy and Annie and Mimi and then um, Julia. Julia. Okay. Um, so what we can do, um, Gert, I don't know if you're there. I don't know if it's possible to connect um, Maisha to uh, Kim or Susie, because Kim and Susie work together. So I don't know if we could make that the last call. That would be great. Yeah, that's what I was just um, saying now, because I can see, but I just sent Kim to Leon now. So maybe okay. if they're done, if uh, Rachel, if you're fine with staying on a bit longer, then we could connect you with Kim as well. Or yes, Susie, Kim, Kim and Anyone. Susie work yeah. together. <laughs> Let me just yeah, see sorry. if Susie is still on. Okay. I see Tatsin also said only met with Cindy. So I don't know if. Yeah, Susie is still on. Um, I will send Susie and while well, she appears on, I will send Susie and Rachel back to your room. and make this
Hi, Julie. Um, I just want to check. So I think most of the buyers have had to drop off. Shall we wrap up or are we waiting for the last session to finish? Yeah, we are. We're waiting. Kim is with Leon and Susie is with Rachel. And okay. then we can close. I think just maybe another three or four minutes and then we can close. Okay, that's 100%. Uh, I think we can probably close for like the staff that's still online and who else? Because um, obviously it's dragging a bit late now. And But I'll still stay online as well too, just see if that everyone finishes and maybe... We can make one or two more connections, maybe. Okay. Okay, so if anyone's not directly involved, feel free to jump off. Um, I do want to just check in terms of tomorrow's dry run. I think we need to debrief before the dry run because we probably want to adapt what we're going to do before the dry run. So, Julie, um, what... Is that feasible for you? Can, can we do that? Yeah, we can. Um, I have um, a meeting at 8 o'clock in the morning, and then I have a Zoom from 10 to 12. So I don't know if we could do it at 12. I could always excuse myself 10 minutes early from the other one. Yeah, that's fine. So it gives us about 40 minutes, if that's all right. Yeah, so just before 12. Yes, please. Yeah, I can join just before 12, and then I can go until we go into the deep the dry run okay so um, we we do the debrief at 12 and then the dry run after that just yeah. set it up for 11 45 i think yeah that'll be fine okay so i'll set that up for 11 45 yes you. please okay But can I just already say that it's amazing, like the buyers that you've brought and how engaged they are and just how understanding and it's been amazing. I think to have three or four interactions of the kind that I observed, it's, it's great. I, I think some of the companies maybe didn't have as many and we probably need to just check in with all of them and see who each company met with um and see if we need to close any gaps but overall um thanks julie um, yeah these these are an amazing group of women like they don't just buy product they no, I mean, they understand that sales are key but they're also interested in in meeting people and building capacity which is different um and yeah. between them i mean they have two thousand retailers between them these five women 2000 i mean that's a mm -hmm. lot of retailers so i'm i'm hopeful some they found a you know a few things here and there that they would maybe test it would be that would be wonderful but i've i've sent an email to all the buyers saying thank you and asking for their ideas of how we can improve oh, um, yeah and let me see what that feedback looks like um yeah, because you know it worked. What worked great was when we were in the plenary and we were just feeding people to the buyers, like right at the end when we were improvising. Mm. So I don't know how how we can, you know, improve the time because, I mean, Kim got stuck with someone for 46 minutes. I mean, got stuck, that's not the right words, but she was one person for 46 minutes without being moved over. I think when you had a problem with your tech, I don't know how we can improve that area just so that we get you know, everyone into everybody in eight minutes. Yeah, yeah, that um, I guess we can discuss more in the debrief, but it was because basically not everything started at exactly the same time. And then I had to change the schedule with the, um, the like the vendors that aren't here. Or exactly. So then it, and then some people were really having great chats. So I didn't really want to just stop them because now already <laughs> we didn't get to all of them. So if they had good chats, I left them. Um, so yeah, then if, if it's not all at the same time, then it gets difficult and complicated. So definitely yeah. something that we need to look into for the next ones. Okay, cool. Even actually more time, like I think the eight or 10 minutes also didn't really um it's, it doesn't justify it if they're really having good discussions and showing everything yeah 
Yep. Well, let me. But, but thank you, Kurt. I mean, I'm. I can't imagine how stressed you've been for the last <laughs> two and a half hours. Yeah. It was fun. You know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, you're welcome. Kurt, did you manage to see if it's possible to have a, a second person helping you? Um, no, it doesn't look possible because I can't give someone else that co-organizing authority. Even if I go onto the web platform, I can't control the board, um, the boardrooms, okay. the rooms. <laughs> so it's... No, I just wanted to check that because it would maybe relieve the pressure on you if you had a backup. Yeah. yeah. Nondre, please go ahead. Um, yeah, as uh, Francis, I actually just typed now in the group chat that um, maybe we could consider using um, the Zoom platform um, as it does allow for a very easy, manageable breakout room, which uh, all of us can join as the teammates as well. Yeah, on Zoom you can make the co co organizer or co. Um, well, everyone actually, everyone can actually come into in, in out in and out of any room. Um, and just have the buyer as, as the main person in the room. Hmm. Hmm. And do do either of you guys have a professional Zoom account that we could use? Because I think it's yeah. ours. Uh, last time we used, uh, I think, did we use? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Red. Yeah, we used Alden's account. Okay, and did you just literally, he logged in and then you gave you the rights and then you ran with it? No, I, I logged in. I've got his, the login details. Uh -huh. so you can log in. Um, and okay. then you could even make others the co-hosts. Okay. All right. I think that's something to seriously consider for tomorrow's debrief. Yeah, I, I haven't. Yeah. Okay, let's have a look at that. Thanks, Nondre. Yep, I got to agree with you on the Zoom thing. Um, when we did our buyer talk on Friday, we had 43 people on the on the Zoom call, and they were able to interact one after the other. It was almost like a, a queue of people, and then they went in. This one went in. This one, so that worked. It was really good, by the way, Julie. I had to drop off after a while, but I listened to at least the first hour or so, and it was fantastic. I, I enjoyed it. Thanks, Francis. No, I enjoyed it too. It was, I mean, I got emails from the buyers over the weekend saying, I can't stop thinking about how much fun Friday was. <laughs> so that was cool. Very cool. Gert, how, do you, should we relieve Kim and Susie and maybe just say thank you to them? Would that be okay? Yeah. I think we should. They, they might feel rude just dropping off. So, so the rest we can just look at during our, our debrief because I'm thinking if we change um, platforms, no complications really because just a limited number of uh, suppliers that we need to reach out to, right? Colleague? Mm. In terms of, we ha I don't know if we've shared a link for Monday's session already. Do you know, Julie? Sorry. I'm yes, not. I have. Yes. But that shouldn't be um, a train smash because okay. we have the rest of the week to change yeah. something. And if we've got them all on the teams tomorrow, um, we can just say, look, guys, we are just going to send you a new link, but we can still make sure that their tech is working and, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. Because, yeah. Yeah, because the temptation is that we do the dry run and on the on the new platform, um, if possible. Well, yeah, I think people are a lot more used to Teams. I mean, to Zoom than Teams, and I I personally find Teams quite difficult to use. Um, mm -hmm. I think Zoom is more. It's you know, it's replaced Skype, and everyone knows Skype. But I don't know. I don't know if we've, if we've got time to change the link to Zoom. Kurt, you'll have to let us know if that's possible. Uh, sorry, guys, I just dropped off. So Kim was done and she was still available for another meeting. So I linked her up with uh, Travel for Impact quick. Sorry, what was that? Brilliant. And we were just saying, if we do move to Zoom or 
is there any way of doing sending a new link for a Zoom dry run instead of Teams? Uh, yes, I'll have to because I'll have to basically set it up on on the Zoom platform to have the dry run on there. So okay. we might. Um, I don't know. It's almost cutting it very short if we go to that tomorrow. But you said you can't. You won't be available for the dry run later during the week, right? Um, I could do a dry run. I'm just trying to think. Wednesday afternoon. I think that might be better just to give us time to obviously now have a look yeah. at the Zoom platform and then get the login, set up the dry runs, everything, and then after having the, the debrief as well. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think that's a good idea. I'll send an email to everyone just saying, I'm sorry we had some, we, we're thinking of changing and we're going to do our dry run on Wednesday. I'll send them a link. Yeah, that's cool. Well, we can just say based on our lessons learned from today's session, we want to in implement some changes. We need an extra day to set that up. I think, yeah, cool. I think it's I'll good. do that now. Okay. okay. What time will we do on Wednesday afternoon? Uh, I guess I'll have to check everyone's schedules. Um, just make sure that when, what would be the best time? Because we also have events every day of this week. Is Triple F happening? Um, oh yes, yeah, that's the one for Wednesday and it's not 100%. If it's not happening, we should all have a yeah, then, then we could be fine, yeah. Uh, let me just check if you send that email, Julie, um, yeah. and then I can go from there and just schedule the right time. Yeah, I also I'm drop just email indicate now. which time would suit you best. Yeah, Any time um, from 12 is fine. Okay. Or if you like, if, if you guys have got other meetings, we could always do it after lunch at 2. That's also fine. Okay, let me have a look at what is the best option on our side from from after 12-ish. Okay, perfect. I'm emailing everyone now. Okay, thank you. Um, and Kim basically said now that it's really interesting. She's enjoying herself. So that's <laughs> some good, good feedback as well. And that's why she said I can... Um, Put one more. <laughs> <laughs> so let me just go and see as well if Susie is done. Um, any anything else? Any other questions before I might ask you guys leave you guys again? I'm sorry. I'm would you mind excusing me? I've got a commitment that I need to attend to. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. fine. Thanks, Francis. What will your help? Thank you, Thank Francis. You so much. Thank you, everyone, and talk tomorrow. Yeah, talk tomorrow. Yeah. Right. Thanks, yeah, I think that's fine then. That's fine for everyone. If I guess everyone needs to go be somewhere, then we'll see you tomorrow again. I'll send out the links and everything. Thank you, Hart, and thank you, Julie. You guys turn lemon into lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. I'll I'll hang around if if um to say goodbye to Susie and Kim if everybody else wants to go home to families and start cooking and cleaning. No, I'll be here with you. It's, it's fine, Julie. <laughs> I'll also so, still be a few minutes, maybe if needed.
Julie. Hi, sorry. No problem. I uh, just want to check something. So, okay, Kim is still meeting now with um, Travel for Impact. Okay. Um, and then there is the only ones that I could still find online is um, Tatenda from Elements by Akarina. Yeah. And Christina from Weba. Do you want me to put you into the rooms uh, to close off with them or just close the room so they come here and then maybe you yeah. can just... I think close close them after they can come here and we could say goodbye to them. Yeah, okay. Because I thought maybe if I could find one more buyer, I could um, send to them, but it's only Kim still online. Yeah, no, I think that's fine. Okay, I'll close the rooms now. Thanks. I'll still leave Kim um, in that room, obviously, for now. Sure. Hi, Christina, how are you? Hi, to, hi to Tender, how are you guys doing? Hi. I just wanted to say thank you to both of you. Um, could you um, could you let me know on email which of the buyers you saw so that if you've missed anyone, I can connect you on a private one-on-one -on -one with them? Hello? Okay, because I didn't see any actually. Oh no. Who am I speaking to? Satenda. Yeah, yeah, to Elements by Akrina. Okay, then you know what I'm gonna do? We're gonna add you to Monday's call and we're gonna do it on a different platform. We, okay. We've been talking about it now and we think we're gonna do Zoom like we did on Friday. And um, so let me add you um to the call for Monday. Okay. Is that all right? And yeah, I apologize no. for wasting two and a half hours or more of your time today. I'm really yeah, no sorry. Way. Okay, no, that's sorry. cool. Tatenda, didn't you meet with Susie? Uh, yes, I met with Susie. Sorry, I met with Susie. So oh, yeah, that was the only one then, right? Sorry? Was that your only meeting? Yes, that was my only meeting. Sorry. Okay, then we're going to add you to Monday's call. We're going to do it on the Zoom platform, so you'll definitely get to meet the others. All right. Cool. Thank you so much and have a good evening and we'll I'll I'll speak to you by email in the morning. All right, please. Thanks, Hello. love. Bye. Christina. Hi Christina, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. I just met two. Okay, who did you meet? It was Mimi and was it Stacy? I forgot. <laughs> uh, it was Mimi and Kim. It was Mimi and Kim, yeah? Okay, yeah. so we need to connect you to Julia. And to Stacy. Okay, so I should be waiting here. No, no, you can go now. And then what I'll do is I'll set up a private Zoom for you to meet those two buyers. So it's just you and them. Oh, okay. When was gonna be this? I, I don't know. I'll have to speak to the buyers in the morning and get a time from them. So it means four buyers are left, only two. And um, no, because you see, Kim and Susie work together at Bridge for Africa. So if you've seen one of them, you don't really need to see the other one. Oh, okay. No, and I think the most important one for you is Julia because baskets are her thing. Yes. You didn't meet Annie. No. Okay. So then it's Annie and Julia and Stacy that you still have to meet. Yes. Okay. So I think maybe what we'll do with you, Christina, maybe we'll do the same thing and add you to Monday's call. That would be what time? Or you still going to confirm the time? Yeah, we're going to still confirm it and which platform. We're going to have a trial run tomorrow to see what works better so that we have a, a, a more user-friendly site for next week. No problem. So, so it means I'm waiting for three on Monday, right? Yeah, so just look out for my email tomorrow um, and then we'll make a plan on that. It'll be in the afternoon. No problem. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Christina, and very, very well done. Thank you so much. We thank you for uh, for the arrangement. Thank you so much. Pleasure. Okay, bye bye. Bye. Bye.
Okay, Julie, what I'll also do is I'll send you because I have um, like I have notes on who met who. I indicated that on my sheet. Brilliant. So I'll share this with you as well, and we can take it from there. That sounds fantastic. Thank you, Kurt. Okay, sure. Um, I'll just check in on the other one, and then we can wrap up here. Okay. Okay, does that mean we can go? Everything good? Hold you on hold. Okay, perfect timing. They just finished off, so I'm closing the room and they'll also come back here. Oh, okay, there's one more. Uh, yes, there was still one meeting happening, but uh, they finished now and I closed the room, so they'll come back here now. Thank you. Then we're done. Thank you. Thank you, Kim. <laughs> You're amazing. <laughs> I'm just writing you. Thank you. <laughs> oh Thank my you. gosh. <laughs> <laughs> it was good. It was good. It was really good. I loved seeing everybody. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. To you too. We'll be chatting. We'll talk soon. Good night, Kim. Thank you very much. Okay. Bye bye. Bye. Thank you, Gosa, for keeping you. Oh, we sorry we kept you for so long. Thank you very much. All right, thank you. Uh, are we done? We are done for today. Yes. Oh, okay. All right. Thank you. <laughs> thank God you. Oh, thank you so much for organizing this. Really, really great. Oh, wonderful. I'm glad you were happy. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Take care. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Have Julie. Thanks, day. everyone, for your endurance. We'll talk to. We'll talk tomorrow. <laughs> talk tomorrow. Thank, Thank you. you so much, Julie. Thank, Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye.